Hi folks, we are just heading in to Glenbeg Boffy, which I believe is now in a bit of a derelict state. Well, it's starting to look fantastically remote now. We seem to be stuck between two weather systems. To this side of us, it's been sorry, squally rain, but over to our east, it's been actually a bit drier. And we seem to be sandwiched right in between the two, which is a bit of a pain. So we just come down here for a bit of shelter, get something to eat, and get the jackets on. Do not worry, we are not staying here. Our boffy is a little bit more salubrious than this. Let's see what this one's like down here. Hello? This one's a little bit more habitable. Just. size? Just about mate, we'll fit you in the bottle. This is where we part company with the track, we start heading uphill to do Berra Castile I think it's pronounced, so let's go. Right, that is Ben a Castile done. We are now heading off in a northerly direction. We need to find a way off this mountain and get back on the track to the Boffy. So that is the plan. Well, this is us just heading down now. It's pretty steep. Oh, track. Kev, what's the time? Wrap up clock. Look at that folks. He's popped my initials in the wrap. Don't say I'm not good to you. Oh. Need this badly, like. Need this badly. Fed and watered, we are good to go. We are back on the move, on the way to this boffy, finally. It is 20 to four, we set off about, oh, what was it, about half 10. Uh, this boffy is about another six kilometers away, so that's a good hour's walking, I reckon. Well, the track has just ended abruptly and we're now trying to sort of guess where the path is. There does seem to be some faint sort of vehicle tracks here. So we'll follow them and hopefully we'll get to the Boffy fairly quickly. It's just over two kilometers to go, so uh, 
It's 10 to 5, I reckon we'll be there for about half 5. Maybe earlier, depends how bad this is. So uh, yeah, let's uh, do it. The other side of the river is teasing us. That riverbank looks much easier to walk. Uh, but then you'd have to get back over the river at some point, so we're just going to stick to this side. But it's a bit of a nightmare. Oh, it's, it's not that bad, they're just tired and it's up and down and it's a little bit boggy, but... Uh, got just over a kilometre ago now. You can actually see the boffy, but my camera won't pick it up. So uh, I'll just keep marching on just now. Just got that sinking feeling in the bog there. Oh, just caught that in the nick of time. I don't know if I've picked the best line to the boffy, but this is just really wet underfoot and you're really having to watch your foot in here. I wonder if I should have took the higher ground. I sort of hugged the river and then jutted in towards the boffy. And it's just a bit of a quagmire. I spy with my little eye something beginning with B and it's not bog well it is but it's not this thing just one last obstacle before I get to the boffy this is all that remains of the previous boffy that once stood here Not much, is it? And now, let's go over here, the main one. I thought the boffy was locked here. It just needed a gentle nudge with the foot. But yeah, we're in. It's looking alright. This is meant to be the bedroom area. It's actually quite tidy. So Alan Bellis was here on the 9th of September, which is today. We must have just missed him. All right, for dinner tonight, we're having, or sorry, we've had noodles already. These were 59p out of B&M's and they were actually quite good, to be honest. For the main, we're having Mac Mash, and I hope I've not infringed any copyrights from McDonald's, but it's basically just the cheesy pasta that you um, put in the, the cheese sauce with on a bed of mashed potato, and Kevin's brought this along with him, a chocolate mousse with cherry and granola for dessert. So that'll keep us going tonight. Right, we've got the cheese, we've got the mac, Kev's prepared the mash, we are good to go, happy days. Spotless! Well the sun set about, what, half an hour ago, so seems about right. Get the fire on now. There we go. Just let that do its thing. I forgot the whiskey, I'm gutted. 
What was that all about? No, Ushke. You've gone in the bath. Oh, sorry, Hen. <laughs> <laughs> Keep a brute, yeah, song. You want to hear it? It's about your mum. That's so beautiful. I'm so touched. Hey! Ich bin der Rock, die Menschen sind der Schärfste Glenn Bilo Vor der Fein, Ten Pointer, Ara, Roi, Roi, Roi Oh, good morning folks It is 7 o'clock in the morning And we're pretty much just up this minute Got an absolute Really good sleep actually. Um, just falling asleep with the crackle of the fire going out, it was good. Um, yeah, time to get breakfast on though. Somebody's been burning the broom handle. It's like Trigger's broom.